will be learning about simple random sampling which comes under the probability sampling method. Now, uh, simple random sampling is also uh, termed as SRS and uh, it, it is an unrestricted sampling method. Now, simple random sampling refers to that sampling technique in which each and every unit of the population has an equal opportunity of being selected in the sample. In simple random sampling, the items that get selected in the sample is just a matter of chance. Personal bias of an investigator does not influence the selection. So as you can see in the uh, figure from a population I have selected or the investigator have selected four people okay now that is um, randomly selected and okay now this is the sample group that have formed now we have to know uh, while selecting we have to be sure about two conditions whether uh, it is satisfying the two conditions then only then we can say that the sample selected is uh, a simple random sample okay so let's move on to the uh, two conditions when a sample of size n is drawn from a population of capital N elements the sample is a simple random sample if any of the following is true now let's see the first condition is that the selection of a particular item in one row should not influence on the probabilities um, of the selection in any other row by independence of selection we mean that the selection of any particular item as I said should not influence uh, the probabilities of selection of the other that is all n items of the sample are selected independently of one another and all n items in the population have the same chance of being included in the sample so there should not be any personal bias or unlike what we studied in the judgment sampling or convenience sampling the investigator should not uh, be biased towards uh, any uh, any item or if, if it is a group of people in you know, or should not be biased towards any individual okay so everyone should be given a fair chance now the second condition is that you can select the sample with replacement and without replacement now first we will have a look at the with replacement um, okay when each unit is returned to the population prior to the drawing um, the next unit now that is something called with replacement right so um, so if if I'm planning to take a seminar for um, for in, in your class and if I have uh, all your names written in, in a small piece of paper different piece of papers and if I put it in a drum and if uh, on the first day of the seminar if I took uh, somebody's name she must uh, present her uh, whatever she has uh, studied or is planning to present but she is um, you know uh, she is not escaped from the second uh, seminar day now her name uh, what I do is I just uh, put it back into the drum so that in the second chance also she is also given um, a chance or, or uh, a fair chance of being selected in the second seminar day also okay so that is an example for with replacement and the probability of being selected over here is 1 by n now capital N represents the uh, total number of uh, population so at each selection uh, all the uh, remaining items in the population have the same chance of being drawn um, if the sampling is made with replacement when each unit is drawn from the population uh, then it is returned uh, prior to the drawing of the next selection okay so that is uh, simple random sampling with replacement now let's have a look at uh, without replacement now without replacement is when uh, back to the story if I select a person from your class for the seminar and if she presents uh, her seminar and then after she goes back what I do is I just uh, remove her name from that drum 
okay i won't be uh, replacing uh, it into that drum so um, in the next uh, seminar day she won't be having a chance okay but um, in the first row or the first seminar day when i pick her name the chance of being selected is uh, the probability or the chance of being selected is 1 by n but uh, in the second day since i removed her from that uh, box or from the drum uh, removed her name uh, the chance of being selected uh, I mean she is not into the in the story right now but uh, in the second day uh, the uh, other girls okay the other girls uh, the total number of a population will become n minus 1 since I removed one student and the chance of being selected is 1 by n minus 1 okay so if the sampling is without replacement that is when each unit drawn from the population is not returned to the prior uh, to drawing the next unit the probability of selection of each item remaining in the population at the first row is 1 by n okay and the second row is since I removed that student the second row is 1 by n minus 1 and at the third row okay now what will happen at the third row yeah the probability is 1 by n minus 2 and so on so it is, should be noted that the sampling with replacement has very limited and special use in statistics we are mostly concerned with the sampling without replacement okay so that I think you will understand uh, about it more when you do something uh, in a practical scenario and all the possible samples of a given size n uh, are equally likely to be selected so uh, to ensure randomness of the selection uh, you can adopt there are two methods you can adopt uh, the lottery method or you can adopt the uh, table of random numbers by generating random numbers so first we'll move on to the lottery method now this is a very popular method of taking a random sample um, now what I do in this method is that um, all the items uh, again uh, we'll come to the story of the seminar what what did I did over there yeah I just wrote all of your names uh, in an identical paper I folded it and then I put it into a drum or whatever you call it a box then I just shuffled it nicely and after that uh, I made a blindfold selection right so I wanted uh, around 20 students from your class no um, let's say 10 from your class so I picked uh, that chits um, you know one by one till I get 10 numbers in my hand so those people uh, now form a sample for me uh, for taking the seminar or for any other studies okay so that is how a lottery method is assigned or done now all the items are numbered so as I said all the items are numbered or named in separate slips then it is folded it's shuffled and a blindfold selection is made now here the selection of items entirely depends upon chance or probability now we haven't uh, yet arrived arrived to the technical term probability so as of now we will say it as chance okay so I hope you understood uh, what is a lottery method and yeah here we have an example also for that uh, just read those example read the example just have a look at the pic okay I hope you understood what is lottery method now let's move on to the next method that is random number table method now um, yeah now the lottery method that we discussed earlier becomes very tough or very difficult to incorporate as the size of the population increases okay now I can't write if you if you were a hundred students in a class I can't write all of your names in a slip and uh, you know place it in a box so it is difficult it will be difficult for me or for any other person now at that time that is when population increases an alternative method of random selection is used and that is table of random numbers now there are several um, standard tables of random numbers that are available um, so I'm giving some of their names 
so one uh, such random number table is called as Tippett's random number table which consists of 41,600 random digits uh, the next table is Fisher and Yates. Uh, it has 15,000 random digits. And um, Kendall and Babington Smith, uh, which has 25, sorry, 1 lakh random uh, digits. And we have Rand Corporation. It, it also has 1 lakh random digits arranged. Now, but most often we use tips uh, random number table is most often used to generate random numbers. And let's see how we, uh, you know, uh, what is the procedure for selecting uh, the numbers. Now, this uh, to the right hand side, what you see is an example for uh, a table of random numbers. So as you can see in this table, we have um, what five digit numbers are arranged in some orderly manner. Uh, now this is typically a book so I have only uh, given you a, uh, an image of a page of that book okay now this is a five digit number and there is a space over here so as you can see okay now the starting number uh, from the random table uh, is chosen in a very random fashion okay so that you can choose it uh, according to your wish so for the time being um, I will choose I'm randomly choosing this number 46132 okay you can choose uh, 51731 that is up to you fine now um, how do you uh, make use of this random number table let's have a look now you know uh, again as I said I for the starting number I chose a, a number some whatever number but uh, you may have a question like um, is it um, it is um, and it's quietly right uh, that you should have that um, kind of you know confusion to yourself as to how it is ensured that these digits are random now it is pointed out that now these digits in the table are random and we guarantee that uh, because this has been subjected to numerous tests and is being used in many investigation and their randomness has been well established for all practical purposes okay so um, you can rely upon these uh, random table uh, random uh, I mean these tables now we'll move on to an example right now okay so now um, now my example uh, over here is that I have to select 20 items or 20 persons say 20 persons from out of 6,000 individuals so in that case I'm going to uh, take the help of a random table and uh, my first thing that I should do is that see I have 6,000 people over here so I will appoint someone so that they can write uh, their uh, their names and assign these numbers towards uh, their names okay so that is the first thing that I'm going to do and um, you, you might have seen that w how I have assigned a number to John that is uh, instead of 1 I have given it as 001 okay so since my uh, maximum number is 6000 it is a four digit number that's why I have given him 001 fine so till uh, Daniel I have given it as 6000 and I have to randomly choose 20 people from the 6000 okay so how can I use this random number table and choose uh, 20 people from 6000 let's have a look now as I said I have numbered all from uh, all the 6000 from 1 to 6000 and please be sure make sure that uh, if it is 6000 you have to number it as uh, 001 if it was um, 900 a three digit number then you can uh, number it as 001 okay now let's see this is a table of random numbers so what I did is I chose a number randomly that is I chose this 4613 then what I did is since the numbers are assigned to the same name as four digit number what I did is I took this till here uh, that is four six one three okay I didn't take this two 
I took 4613 and yeah so I choose 4613 as my first number now that first number is, is the um, now the my sample size is 20 so 4613 I will check who uh, what is the name of that person so that person is my mm, the first person in the sample of 20 now my second number will be 2813 okay 2813 so 2813 again I will go back and check who is 2813 so I found out that it was some um, Sam or you know Sam okay let it be Sam so Sam is my second person in the sample of 20 fine then third number I will choose it as uh, 8075 now 8075 or go back and I check maximum is 6000 as you all know so I won't be able to include this 8075 guy uh, I mean there is no guy like that so that number I won't be able to take so again what I do is I go for so I don't have my third person right now so for my third person what I do is I just take the 6351 again 6351 is also um, not a number included in 6000 okay between 6000 so I can't choose 6351 9428 no chance 88048 no chance 8047 uh, 8087 no chance finally I reach 4720 yeah so this is something which is included in our population so I go back I find it out who that person is so finally it is um, yeah Tom fine so I selected Tom then uh, again going back I just had a look at 0921 now what is 0921 it is 921 okay so uh, I just go and checked who this 921 person is and I found out that it was uh, you know Harry okay now I selected him anyways uh, so this is a procedure that you have to follow while you uh, make use of the table of random numbers and you can move on like this till you reach uh, your desired sample size so in this case you will have 20 people or 20 people you will select 20 people so I hope you got an idea of how to use the table of random numbers now there are merits and demerits for a simple random sampling method so see there there won't be the merits are like there won't be any personal bias because it is completely based on the principles of chance or principles of probability so uh, the merit is uh, that but there are demerits as well because it's, it is very difficult for the investigator you know to get an up-to-date list of all the items that are to be sampled and um, yeah the size of the sample here should be very large in order to get um, a statistical stability or reliability um, the sample should be more representative uh, so in the case of simple random sampling uh, I don't think so see um, moving on we will move on to like uh, stratified sampling and clus uh, cluster sampling as well, systematic sampling as well so there you will find out that okay it is way more better than simple random sampling fine uh, so um, the reasons are a lot when we move to stratified sampling that I will explain it later so the size of the sample uh, in this method should be very large and uh, when the sample I mean the size of the sample gets very large uh, see the things will be very um, you know difficult for the investigator it will be time consuming and it is not at all cost effective so so these are the demerits of uh, simple random sampling method so with that we come to an end of simple random sampling uh, i hope all of you have understood thank you